this video we're going to look at trucks used for earthworks. Uh, basically there are two types of trucks that we use. There's trucks that can travel on the highway, so they have less than 7 tonnes per axle loading, which is the absolute maximum for a, um, a public highway, a, a road, public road. And then we've got the off-highway ones, which are specially designed to be more efficient at earthworks. So we've got two types of trucks and we'll talk about them in this video. Um, so trucks are hauling units only, they can't load themselves, they have to be loaded by an excavator or a loader. Um, they're fast, they can go up to 100 kilometres an hour, even faster. Um, as I said, they need to be loaded by other plant. So on highway trucks can travel on public roads, um, up to 13 cubic metres for the truck itself, but they can also have a trailer which adds another 10 metres as well. So they can get up to um, 20, 25 um, cubic metres of haulage and obviously if you're hauling um, a lot of material a long distance then um, adding the trailer means that you are getting more efficiency. You've got a driver here hauling 20 to 25 cubic metres rather than just 13 or 14. So it becomes more efficient to um, put the trailer on. It takes longer to load the trailer. Uh, the trailer also makes it less manoeuvrable. Um, they can um, jackknife the trailer but um, the trailer does mean that you're, you need more area to manoeuvre in and it takes a little bit more time to back everything in and get it loaded with a trailer but as I said if there is a, uh, a long distance to be hauled then a truck and trailer is more useful. Uh, the other type of truck is uh, off highway also known as Moxies. The Moxie used to be the trade name for the, the biggest maker of these things. Um, it's no longer Moxie, it's um, Bozen now but but the people on site might still call them moxies or dump trucks. Uh, you can see that these things have got an articulation in the middle like the loader that we talked about in the previous video which means that they've got a tight turning circle. Um, they are also um, the shape of the tray there is um, much more of a v-shape um, to mean to make it more efficient for loading it means that the load is more centred into the middle of the chassis as opposed to being across it there which means they can carry more load, they're more stable uh, they've got all wheel drive, um, all of those wheels are doing stuff the uh, suspension can move so that uh, the wheels move differentially which means it can move over rough ground uh, they are able to climb steeper hills, they're able to go over rougher terrain uh, the downside is that they are usually too big for on highway use um, so if they are being hauled to a site you'll need to have a special transporter for them and stuff like that. Uh, one thing about trucks is you need to remember that when they're dumping they do lift their tray up and there are hazards overhead. Uh, this could just as easily have been a power line or something like that and that happens quite often. So one of the safety aspects about them is that when they lift up the tray they are quite high. Another issue is that when they lift up the tray they're also quite unstable. Um, you can have um, wet material sort of accumulating on the top there which means that there's a, a high centre of gravity and sometimes the truck can roll so that's a, a safety issue that needs to be taken into account. So as I said on earthworks activities trucks are really just there for hauling they can't do excavation they um, laying they can actually um, tip their tray and then um, start moving and then they uh, trip the, um, the the trailer the end of the trailer so they start they can start moving and start um, offloading at the same time so they can lay um, the material in a layer so there probably should have been another circle around that as well uh, but oftentimes you'll find that they will tip they will dump it all in one pile and then they'll have a, a bulldozer or something to spread it out the reason for that is as I mentioned before when a truck has its um, tray up high, um, it does have a high centre of gravity and it can tip over. So sometimes it's best just to um, get it to tip in one place while it's standing still. 